Good morning, guys. I hope you're having an amazing day today. Put this music down so I don't get copyrighted. As you can see behind me, our bedroom wall is green. Our man has chose to do his room green two years ago. Don't know what he was thinking. I feel like he lost a complete mind for a day because he painted it in the spur of the moment. But obviously, being the really contemporary person that I am, can't survive with this green room. I have nightmares every single day. So today, we are finally painting Amin's room, painting a neutral color, painting it gray with a white ceiling. And then I feel like we'll be hanging up some of his artwork and all this colorful stuff. It'll look really cool. Because right now, everything doesn't match and it's really, really bothering me. So we are going to paint everything on our own we're gonna try to do the best job that we can because obviously we are not experts i just want this green color to go like i'm done i'm done with this color it needs to go right now and i need i need to not ever see it again in the rest of my life but on another note i am cramping it is the time of the month so i'm very cranky i'm very irritable i'm in so much pain right now and i just want to roll up in a little ball on the bed and just sleep and watch movies because it's also raining outside but we're not gonna do that because that's how determined i am to get rid of this color so i'm gonna start moving stuff now while i'm in the bathroom and be ready to paint before we even have breakfast because i'm so hungry but i need this color to go are you excited to let this ugly color go i think that you just have bad judgment in color and design no be honest now ah, yeah it's a terrible color i don't know woke up one morning and so said i'm gonna do it green lime green um being an artist i had an emotional response to it and now my emotional response is get rid of it but also because Mandeep doesn't like it and this is her room as well so to be honest this color does look nice with this it piece, does it does compliment. and it also looks nice with these toys are you crazy toys? This is my cause collection. Whatever. Comment below but if you know what cause. But other than that, it doesn't look good with anything. Comment below if you know what cause. They will know what cause is, trust me. Come on, go get me chocolate. Come right. on, chocolate. <laughs> All right, let's hurry up, get to it. All right, guys. This is our primer, guys. I think you're good. No, man. When you can see the lines, that means nah. Well, you are taking it off on this. Listen, yeah? Alright. Goodbye, green wolf. <sighs> Finally. <laughs> go, go, go. Yes. Oh, my. Relief. We should just do what? Can't even reach it. <laughs> There's a ladder right here, guys. <laughs> there is a ladder to go right the ladder. here. This is a ladder, but she's like putting a life into this. <laughs> Can you take that off, please? What a beautiful view of the cause. <laughs> Where's Mandy? She's so tiny. Can't see. Oh, hello. We're making progress. We are. This is the uh, color we chose, and it does look the same as this one, but it's not. I promise you. It is called Chic Shadow. Chosen by this one. Goodbye, wolf. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we have almost half the room done. Not really, but we have this wall done in the color. We have that wall in the process of the color. And then we have that wall, and then like half, half that wall left. So, I mean, it's around like. 5.30ish, 6 maybe. And I'm not tired because we woke up late today. So I'm trying to get this all done today. But it's so gloomy outside. That is the weather. You know, your typical England weather. Apparently there's a hurricane or something, which I don't know of. I thought I was gonna like get sucked into a hurricane or something. But I must finish this walk so we continue to the next one. Hi, Evan. <laughs> you, look like oh, look. you look so scary right now. Uh, you look like you had a paranormal activity. Oh, We're making progress. This wall's done. That wall's almost done. I'm in down there. This is the last bit of green left, I think. And that <laughs> bit up there. And yeah. And then yeah, I want to do baseboards and I want to do the window edges and I'm going to do extra work. Then you woke up and I'll paint you all green again. What? Woke up and I think they will green again. I make you sleep outside. <laughs> I don't actually know what possessed me to get that color. I, I still don't know. I will admit though, it's a great choice from the new. She's not actually in right now, but it's a good choice. It matches what I'm wearing. 
But no, um, I don't know what. As, a, as an artist, I feel like I just woke up and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do this color. Probably because I have that one art piece up and that complements that, that, because there's subtle green in it. We're getting there, we're almost done. I've got paint all over me. Not one paint stain's been shown to you. Oh, she's coming. And uh, yeah, so, you know, gray's good, good color and... Uh... I know you're talking crap about my color. No, I wasn't. You're gonna love this color, okay? Yeah, it's, it's quite nice. Why don't we put up the nice frames and the decor and like all the stuff that you got? Look at the state of her. See, that's why there's no stains on me and nothing to show you. What Look at your elbow right there. Shut up. And your hands. Shut up. Alright, guys. Round what? Five, six? I think so. Seven? I'm eight. So Mom's making to do lamb chops still. I only have one. What? I only have one. I've been eating healthy as I'm trying to lose weight. Ready? Alright guys, this is the most therapeutic. Yeah. It's sad because like, we still have to color the dashboard so you can't really see it. That it's was green. green. Oh no. Ah. Okay, so we're finally done the room. There you go. There's no more green left. And I don't know either we've gotten to a point where the fields have gotten to us and we're really high or we're just really tired because it's what, one o'clock in the morning? We are a hot mess. Mm -hmm. There's like paint all over us, all over our hands and we need to sleep but we have all the stuff in the center of the room that needs to be put away before we can sleep. So we don't know what to do and we keep hearing weird noises. <laughs> I can't even see you. I'm tired, I'm hugging myself. Okay, so I think I really want a good night's sleep. <laughs> I want a good night's sleep. So we're gonna try to put everything on the floor or something and just go to sleep. Right. <laughs> so basically, Owen has like a stain on his shirt and it's in the center of his chest and it looks like he's Iron Man. <laughs> shot me. Okay guys, so it is the next day. <clears throat> oh my God, I'm so different. So we decided not to do this yesterday. We went to sleep downstairs in the living room on the couch. But this room looks amazing. It looks totally different. We did not do the ceiling we were supposed to, but we got tired and lazy. So I think we're just gonna do the edges a bit. But other than that, it's time to reorganize this room. I'm so excited. The most satisfying part in the world. Wait, let's start over here. Alright, so I kind of got carried away with the final touches. I did this wood trim, it was wood, so it was like a brown, really old brown color. But I colored it white, and then I just finished like the door trimming area, and we put the table here instead of here, because because of this radiator, it sticked out, and it kind of took up a lot of space. So we just ended up putting it over here, which is not so bad. Um, how are you coming along over there, mister? What's that, sorry? How are you coming along over All right, there? Alright, man, alright. Back with the hand on the chest? No, 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 I'm just searching out. So we're just trying to figure out a place for all of our things. So for the last like two months or so, it's just been like stuff everywhere because nothing has a designated place. And we don't know where to go, where did this item belongs or where that item belongs. So we're trying to find a place for everything and finally be organized. I'm having so much fun. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day today. I'm usually at the beginning of my vlog, but this is the end. It has been a couple days since we have painted our room. We did need a little bit of time to put our furniture back, let the paint dry, and did, because we did all those little last minute touch ups with the paint. So we ended up finishing that and we put the furniture where it's supposed to be for now. We still have a lot of stuff that's just sitting around and that needs a place to go and have its own final home kind of thing. And oh, I just can't sort out this hair. Oh, yeah, and as you can tell, I did color my hair again red because it did fade when I went on vacation. We did finish the room. This is the potential areas of the new furniture. You're not 100% sure yet because we're still in the decorating process and the whole moving things around thing because you know it's hard when there's two people living in one room and you have to adjust to both people's likings and you have to come to a middle ground and agree on what you both like. So that's not a problem but we just need to be very happy with what we want because we don't want to keep moving it around all the time because 
it's very tiring. So I'll, I will show you guys where I have put the main things. All the other things you guys see laying around, I'm sorry for that. But they do need a home still, so I don't know where to really put it because there's not a lot of wardrobe space. If you guys have any suggestions, make sure to let me know down below. So over here, I have the bed. As you can see, we have the bed. We have the little Snoopy Cos back there and my elephant straight from Canada. Then over here, we have this section. So it's like this wall is like inside, this wall like sticks out. So it's like literally a section, not a straight wall. So that's why the bed does stick out, which gets pretty annoying. So I put my makeup table here from Ikea and it actually fits perfectly in the spot. This is where I keep all my makeup. It's like all in here. If you guys want to see a makeup collection slash tour thing, I don't have that much compared to like a lot of people. But um, I will, I'll show you guys that if you want to see it, but make sure you leave it down below and let me know because I won't know if you don't tell me. This is all of Amin's drawing stuff. He's using my side because unfortunately my laptop did break down. It had some kind of a thing called a kernel panic and the laptop keeps panicking. So it just keeps shutting off in the middle of me doing my work. And I did take it to the Apple store and they said that if they erase the whole computer and restart it from like scratch, that should fix the problem. And if that doesn't fix the problem, then nothing can fix the problem, which means I need to buy a new laptop, which is going to cost me like $5,000. And since I just got married, I don't have that kind of cash just sitting around. So I am using Amin's computer at the moment. So we are kind of sharing and have like a little time schedule thing. So that is why he's using this table for his drying stuff. And then when I do my makeup, I move it or whatever. We have a window here. We do need curtains still. We don't have them. I don't know if I want curtains or blinds or both or whatever. Um, this is the radiator. This table used to be here. But then we moved it because of the radiator, it used to stick out. There's our good old fan, a candle, which I have a story for you. It did burn my hair when I first lit it. Um, my head was on fire and I'm gonna have to like slap my head like crazy to put the fire out and it was like the worst thing ever. Okay, moving on. Amin's chair, we have Amin's desk, Amin's computer, the whole stuff needs to be organized there. We have the mirror, laundry basket, our drawer with the clothes on it, some stuff on the floor over there, and our war one wardrobe there, and a bunch of baskets and storage up there. So that is what this room is looking like right now. There are a lot of things just sitting around that do need a home. We do need to find a place to put them. I did have a clothing rack back there before, but there was another smaller room, which we turned into like a walk-in closet kind of thing. We just put like three railings around and then put all our clothes all their clothes up on the railings and there's another wardrobe in there and all of Amin's shoe boxes from his shoe collection if you guys want to see his shoe collection just click or up there one side or the other I'm not sure it's just gonna be up here somewhere if you guys want to see it so all those boxes are in that room as well we hid them behind the racks and stuff so we are making do with what we have and it's actually pretty amazing. I've always wanted a walk-in closet. And even if it's not the idealistic ones with the shelves and stuff, it is better than living out of a suitcase. I have to tell you that. So that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed us painting and ruining our clothes and creating a hot mess for ourselves. But I think we did a pretty good job. Um, we were gonna paint the ceiling, but we kind of got a little lazy, so we kind of left that alone. But yeah, so that's the end of this vlog. We are back to normal program, which is not normal, but it's normal now because I'm finally settled in. All the wedding vlogs are out. All of the honeymoon vlogs are out. All of the vlogs I need to catch up on are out. I did post them late because I didn't have time to edit them because of moving, settling in, traveling, and all that stuff. So I did record for you guys and I did want to show you. So I know those were a little bit behind. So I'm sorry for that, but I did share them with you. So I'm back to regular programming, which means the regular UK vlogs now as you guys have requested. And if you guys don't know, we we did hit 40,000 subscribers, which is amazing. I don't know how those 40,000 subscribers found my channel or even chose to subscribe to my channel. Thank you to you who are subscribed. If that sentence even made sense. I love you guys the most. You guys, I only do what I do because of you guys. So thank you so, so, so much. And for those of you who watch me, who watch my videos and are not subscribed, please subscribe and support your fellow homie because I can only do what I do if I know more of you guys want to watch it. Do you know what I mean? So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And if you are subscribed and you want to know when I release a video, make sure you hit that notification bell, which is here somewhere. It's like a little bell shaped thing. You just click it and you'll know whenever I release a video because I am on this grind to start releasing like no tomorrow. I also want to release makeup videos. So if you are interested in that, let me know. So I'm kind of iffy on that. Maybe Maybe I should just leave that for Instagram or leave it for YouTube or do both. I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see in terms of that because I'm really feeling beauty right now. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. You can put your dollar on me. Diamonds all be everything you want and you need. You got me going up and above. I can't get enough. It's like you put a spell on me. If you really about it, then I'm about it.
it for sure Yeah, you know I'm different than the ones before Ain't nobody gotta know we can keep it on the low You're the one I've been looking for